Hi, I'm Lou, I'm from London and this is my first YouTube video. I'm excited to bring you on some of my adventures and I'm just about to go on one. on the Euro Tunnel. We haven't left England yet, we're just uh, parked and we are heading to France, then driving down through, I think Germany, then Austria, and then uh, into Italy. And we'll take you on the journey with us. So we've driven four hours into France. We're in a beautiful historic town called Verdun. It's medieval and there's all sorts of amazing history. The cathedral is over a thousand years old, loads of World War I monuments and statues everywhere. It's absolutely beautiful. We had some dinner out by the river um, and heading back to our hotel shortly. We're on the way to Italy. I've um, qualified to represent Great Britain in the Grand Fondo World Championships. So I've got a big bike race on Sunday. I'm super excited and proud and nervous to represent Great Britain, but it's, it's awesome. We were supposed to be joined by Katie Cookaburra, my friend, but unfortunately she wasn't feeling well, so hasn't been able to come. So I will take you on the journey and document uh, all of our adventure with these videos. So it's the next day, we left France and we are still in Germany. We've been in Germany for ages, been driving for seven hours. I'm not driving, Rob's driving. This is Rob, he's from Texas. Um, we've been married about a year. And uh, he likes driving in Germany when he can go fast because there are no speed limits on the motorways, which is slightly bonkers. But there's been a lot of traffic and rubbish weather, so actually we've not been able to go crazy, which has been good. But yeah, I think we're probably in the last few miles of Germany before the Austrian border. Uh, and we will be stopping just past the um, Austrian in border in miles, Austria for night. To Sorry about the absolute lack of uh, bikes in this video. We do have a bike in the back here somewhere. There will be um, more bike content in future videos, I promise. Drive it like a stone. So we got to our hotel in Austria. We're just sat outside, Rob's doing a bit of work. It's a pretty decent view. It's raining at the moment, but we might head out or we might not because um, when we're in France, I can speak French and things are okay. But here, my A-level German doesn't seem to be working. And the guy, when we checked in, said something about the key. And I don't know whether it was to leave the key or take the key if we go out. So I don't think we can leave because I'm not sure what to do with the key. Don't lose it, that's what you do. <laughs> Thankfully, I packed a cycling jacket um, for the rain because I didn't bring a coat on my travels and we've come outside to quite possibly one of the most bonkers things I've ever seen. <laughs> Those are clouds in the middle. Those clouds. This is the longest Tibet-style footbridge in the world. Should we cross it? So we're doing it. I'm gonna be honest, I'm um, pooping my pants. This is crazy. Like there's clouds below us. There, you can see through the bridge and it's kind of shaking too. Might be about to die. <laughs> if you're wondering what this was, this is a scared face. Oh, I've got the dry mouth. Yeah, good. I get this when um, I'm really nervous. Actually, I need to stop for a sec. This is nuts. I'm so high up. Above the clouds. Oh, I've gone quite far, but I'm gonna continue. <laughs> oh my God. I don't know if it's more or less scary now the clouds have cleared, can't even talk. Um, I can see more now the clouds have gone, but, um, it doesn't feel quite as creepy because the clouds have gone. I don't know. It's scary, but this is mega. 
This is quite scary. Feels a little bit safer here. They've put um, some mesh up. I suppose that's to stop you from dropping stuff onto the motorway below. Uh, or throwing yourself. <sighs> Nearly made it to the other side, which means, yes, we made it. But I presume we've got to go all the way back <laughs> to get down again. So made it back onto solid ground, but got to go back that way now. Are you ready, Rob? Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, go on then. <laughs> Brave at three feet above ground. Can you imagine riding a bike over it? No, thank you. It, well, it's so slippy, like you would die instantly. Yeah, honestly, this is this is not something. Look, it's to like mess an ice rink. Like, no, he's here. I didn't touch the whole way I didn't hold on to the handrail because I was just like I don't I can feel it I shaking don't here. Want to I don't want to start doing that so I just kept walking kept walking count those steps and keep going let's get to the middle hey by the way I'm gonna do a beer review out there so let's go back the other side it's getting dark if you hold on it's cold and you start making like a waterfall. So I'm not holding on, <laughs> but I'm scared. Rob was pretty nervous too. He was actually counting steps to take his mind off it. <laughs> when you stop, you realize how much it's shaking. So I'm not stopping any longer. We just passed a couple of people who looked even more nervous than we are. So. No, I feel all brave. Oh, my voice shows that I'm not brave. <laughs> this is crazy. It's getting dark. There's a castle up there. I don't know what's down there because I actually haven't looked if I look down. Oh, I'm looking down. Holy, I'm glad I didn't do that on the way over. So we have very almost made it back to the other side. That was crazy amazing experience scary glad we did it because I, I honestly about 10 meters in I was like I don't think I can do this yeah, because right about here yes and you're already, yeah when I was like there you're you're already like it 50, shakes 50 or 100 feet above the ground here and it, you haven't even gone that far it shakes it's <sighs> scary but if you can get all like oh it's safe they couldn't have this here if it wasn't safe type thing like if you can get past all the negative, scary thoughts, it's cool. <laughs> so I can't promise you Guinness World Record breaking sights like this one every video, but I can promise you lots of bike content, lots of honesty and fun, um, and probably quite a lot of nonsense as well. Oh yes, back on ground again. Oh, that's nice. So if you would like to see more of my videos, I will keep making them. Please like and subscribe.